Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Oxley. I'm here on behalf of New Zealand First and Clayton Mitchell, your local Member of Parliament. Personally, I joined New Zealand First as I saw it was a way to make a difference, to make a better life for my grandchildren, my makapuna, our precious ones. They are what I'm here for. What I was left by my grandparents was a thriving, beautiful, prosperous country. But what was I leaving my grandchildren? What was I leaving this country in? What state was it in? What state was the, the world in? I was actually ashamed, you know, deeply ashamed of what I was leaving my grandchildren. New Zealand First is here today to restate our position on TPPA, the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. New Zealand First does not like secrecy. We abhor it. We do not like the branding John Keyes has given this agreement. It's not a trade agreement, it's much more than that. We are worried that New Zealand will face crippling multi-million dollar lawsuits in the future. We, will, we are worried that the TPPA will diminish our ability to pass laws that are for our benefit. And we are particularly worried the big foreign pharmaceutical companies will demolish Pharmac. The TPPA is a full frontal assault on our sovereignty. The National Party don't give a job to that. In fact, they're expediting it. Countries have become targets already. Ecuador, for example. The oil company, Occidental Petroleum, sued for $2.3 billion, Ecuador. $2.3 billion. All because Ecuador cancelled a contract which gave them uh, all possessions. Ecuador lost that case. Germany is facing a massive lawsuit from a Swedish company, all because they are re removing their nuclear plants. As we've heard already, Australia is being sued over its plain packaging laws on cigarette packets. We must be able to keep our right to make our own laws and not worry about these multinational companies. Put New Zealanders first when considering rights and the future. We must, we must do this. We should not be pandering to big money. The Prime Minister is talking rubbish when he says they must have secrecy over the, this agreement. Only corporations have secrecy. We do not need it. This is just another Sky City deal. Yeah. Our health system medications, workers' rights, environmental protections are all targeted by the TPPA. We know this from leaked documents we've received already. Pharmac, our world-renowned drug buying company, keeps our drug costs down. We actually pay a lot less than the Australians and the Americans do for their drugs. We want to keep our sovereignty and to make rules that suit us. We want transparency of what's in the agreement before it is signed. And we want to protect Pharmac from these multinational companies so that our health is not compromised. I must be the change I see in the world. You must be the change you want to see in the world. We must change to see the change in the world. The opposite of courage is not cowardice, it's conformity. Our future is in our hands. Martin Luther King Jr. said to us, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. How many people are silent today? Do you care about your children and your grandchildren's future? Our country's future? Well, do you care? 
Yes, you do, because you're showing that by being here today. Then we all need to take actions to show that we really do care. And I am, and so is New Zealand First. I now hand you over to Tracy Livingston.